Hang on, I'll drive. All right, I'm in. Hostiles. We got a Sicario. There, inside the firing post. The drone is up. Sniper up in the tower. Moving to position. I need a better position. I've got Point eyes one. on the cabin. Let me get in position. I got eyes Project on the air defense target system. Acquired. Target marked. Target lost. Got the target. They're gonna spot you. Back up. Target eliminated. Yo, cartel gunman. Where you got him? Near the SAM launcher. vehicle has run over Aymara protesters in Agua Verde, resulting in 25 dead and dozens more injured. Since April, the Aymara have been staging marches of resistance, blocking roads in an attempt to prevent construction crews from Get driving to the construction see. site of Paraiso Agua Verde, resort and casino. I got one narco. Tell me Early where. Inside Santa the firing commendation. Those Sicarios will be missing this. Eyes on the gun. Get to the second now. to the cartel's comms to keep the cartel from ganging up on the rebels for a while. You've been 
working hard, my friends. This is how you say? Birthing a beautiful friendship? Sure. I guess that's how you say. We're in this fight all the way, Pack. I do not doubt it. And we shall all reap what we sow. Viva Bolivia! Viva la Revolución! Watch the background. That LT is getting away. Go Get the hell out of there. Saldra bien. You crying, Puto? Tell your SB boss we're coming for him. After we kill him, you can come get revenge when your balls drop. No mas. I'll tell him. Just let me live. Say goodbye to your reputation, tough guy. Qatar's people are going to be laughing about this for a long time. I'm opening fire on these shitheads. We're clear. Clear. How are you guys holding up?
catch out. Taking the bike. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. I'm on. Fucking hell! Made it. I'll call the rebels so they can haul it out later. Right. And then for us, it's Cerveza time. Opening fire, the rat of the cage. Awesome. I can put this to use. Good. We all in one piece? We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. Stay down on me right there. What the 
Thanks. Shit, they spotted us. the rebels were to come get their supplies. I got you, man. The tank's tied up, heading your way. God damn, that was close. Target down. wanting one of these.
Bowman. We're in Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocolero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocoleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocoleros and disrupt Madra Coca's production. <laughs> Found a location for a cartel network station. Let's deactivate it. We poked the hornet's nest. We got Unidad and Rebels throwing lead. What do you want to do? Stay down. Avisamos que los refuerzos ya vienen en camino. Una According to this, the cartel's got a supply plane loaded at a local airstrip. Might be weapons and ammo, might be medicine. Whatever it is, if the cartel could use it, the rebels could too. Sounds like an invitation to me. Wanna steal a plane? Helicopter, get down. A respected cocolero named Chavez is trying to spur the locals to revolt against Madra Coca. We need to keep him alive at all costs. Engaging. Familiarize yourselves with Bowman's briefing on Santa Blanca's coke production pipeline. People of the top are El Yayo and La Gringa. Yayo's Bolivian, an ex cocolero turned cocaine producer. Gringa seems to be a disgraced chemist. She used to work for an NGO here in Bolivia before joining up with the cartel. Fucking hell! Ah. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years. A medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. 
With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Escort is busy. Escort vehicle. Watch the waiting for the move. 